Free, feel free to do that. At the back of the, the garden, Hotel Indigo and Theo's Italian have kindly provided us the bar, so please drink yourself silly, particularly at, at the interval. And across the road, uh, the toilets as well. They've been generous enough to give them there. After the show, we'll be all drinking in the bar afterwards, hopefully after a great show. Um, so enjoy the show. Please clap when you feel you might, uh, would like to. Um, we've got uh, lots of wonderful performers here. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a far off kingdom, there lay a small village at the edge of the woods.
Now, I don't suppose you're planning on buying any of these, are you? I don't stray and be late, right? And try and save some of the sweeties for your granny. Oh, no, look at her! No, she's not me! It's the woods and down the down the park the straight I know of what. It's the woods and who can tell what's waiting on the journey. Into the woods to bring some blood to granny who is sick in bed. Never can tell what lies ahead, but all that I know, she's already dead. Was it in the woods? Into the woods, into the woods, to go to the house and home. You'll never find her. Small price to pay for what else your father stole from me. My mother always said she would punish me with the curse of ugliness if ever I lost any of them. Lost any of what? The beans. Beans? The special beans. I let him go. I didn't know he'd stolen my beans. I was watching him crawl back over the wall and then bang, smash, the lightning flash. Story. Never mind. Anyway, you know the big day came and I laid my claim. Don't take away the baby, they shrieked and screeched. But I did, and I hid her where she'll never be reached. And your father cried, and your mother died. When for extra measure, for I admitted the water pleasure, I said, sorry, I'm still not a mollify. And I laid a spell on them. You too, son. But your family tree would always be a barren one. How could you? <laughs> When your mother died, your father deserted you. Your father was no father, so why should you be? <laughs> now 
has no more crusts and there's no more seams, and my garden thrives. You should see my nectarines, but I'm telling you the same. I tell kings and queens, don't ever, never, ever mess around with my greens. Especially the beans. Yeah, but why do we have to go to the next village? Is everyone in this village knows that the cows have given a drop of milk and tea? Let's choose it.
visited her so often and worked so much that her tears watered it until it had become a magnificent tree. I've been good and I've been kind, Mother, doing only what I learned from you. Why then am I left behind, Mother? Is there something more that I should do? What is wrong with me, Mother? Something must be wrong. I wish. Do you know what you wish? Are you certain what you wish is what you want? If you know what you want, then make a wish. Ask the trees. And you shall have your wish. Tree, silver and gold grow down on me. I'm off to get my wish. Oh, 
what beautiful music. Get me what I need. I'm never going to find that red cape. Or the, the golden cow, or the yellow slipper, or the, the yellow slipper. I can't. What are you doing here? You forgot your scarf. <laughs> Go home. You've got no business being out here. I wish to help you. No. The cellars are my house. The cow is white as milk. Ah. Well, hello there, young lad. Hello, sir. And uh, what might you and this lovely cow be doing in the middle of the forest? I was heading towards the market, but I seem to have lost my way. And, uh, and what were you planning to do then? Sell my cow, sir. No more, no less than five pounds. Five pounds? Five! She must be very generous of milk to fetch five pounds. Yes, sir. And if she can't fetch that sum, then what will you do? I haven't thought of that. I suppose my mother and I will have no food to eat. This is the sum total. Beans! We mustn't get rid of our beans. Well, if you think we must. Uh, beans will bring you food, son. Beans in exchange for my cow? Oh, these are no ordinary beans, son. These beans carry magic. What sort of magic? <coughs> Tell them. Uh, 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 magic that a defies description. My mother would. How many beans? Six. Five. We can't part with all of them. We must keep one for ourselves. Besides, these beans must be worth a pound each at the very least. Hmm. Could I buy my cow back someday? Uh, yes. Well, possibly. Yeah. Here you go, young man. Her head down for me. As 
the little girl, she was surprised to find her grandmother's cottage door standing wide open. How uneasy I feel. Perhaps there's all the sweets. Good day, grandmother. My grandmother. You're looking very strange today. What big ears you have. But better to hear you, old my dear. <laughs> but grandmother. What big eyes you have. But better to see you, old my dear. But grandmother. What large hands you have. But better to hug you, old my dear. Oh, grandmother. What a terrible big wet mouth you have. But better to eat you, old my dear. And still, yeah, you have the dogs like this. And with a single hand, oh, you devour my little girl. Yes. No. I don't know. You don't know. Ah, well, 
I wouldn't give to be in your shoes. Is the 
only thing out of your reach. I in a tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair. Light and becoming, frequently humming, the light hearted air. Oh, agony, far more painful than yours. When you know she would go with you, if they're only adored. Agony, all the torture they teach. What sad intriguing, as so fatiguing, as what sad of Nothing of madness till you're climbing her hair and seeing her up there as you're hearing her old walk here in the Slippers and hoops, just the two of us, beyond lies, 
Before tomorrow's search begins, I would do it. Squeeze, pal. Come on, pal. 
Rub ingredients, you can forget about a child. No, no, you wait one minute. We have followed your instructions. First, this cow is as white as milk. And second, that cape is certainly as red as blood. Third, we had the slipper. And fourth, I, I, mean, I compared that, that hair. This ear of corn. I pulled it from a maiden in a tower. And what? What were you doing then? I happened to be passing by. Don't you understand? I touched that hair. I can't have touched the ingredients. <gasps> oh. The corn. The corn. What? The silky hair of the corn. Pull it from the ear and feed it to the cow. <laughs> we once were. She will not go with me. She can speak for herself. Rapunzel, the only family I know. Come with me, please. No. Rapunzel. 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 As is often in these tales, oh. in exchange for her youth and beauty, the witch lost her power over others. Oh. As for Cinderella's friend, <laughs> And 
Once again, the prince notices the blood trickling from the shoe. You have no elder daughters. To which the woman replied, No, this is a lonely kitchen wench that my husband left behind, but she thought she'd bring for, for you to see. I insist. When Cinderella presented herself and tried on the blood soaked slipper, it fit like a glove. This is the true bride. Won't you? 
about this. Why didn't you do something? I don't make policy. I just carry it out. And I warned you, you can't rely on a royal family to solve your problems. I think it's best we just go back to the village. Yes. I wouldn't go that way if I was you. Guess which way the giant took to the castle. Pardon, it's a sack of beans. And there's not much left of your house. Now hold on a second, I thought you said a giant never strikes the same house twice. You heard wrong. Oh, 
came down from the woods, the baker's, the baker's wife came across an unexpected predator. <laughs> The giant? The giant? Yes. Have you come upon the giant yet? No. Ah, well, why are you all alone in the woods? I'm looking for the lad. Your choice. How brave. Brave? Yes. Moments in the world. 
suffered a loss and you're dead you're dead and i'm taking that boy to the giant before we're all dead meat keep away from him no this is no time to be soft-hearted i'm taking him to the giant no.
Well, now what do we do? Oh, well, it's going to be dark soon. We better come up with a plan. That was just some way we could surprise her. She's too tall to surprise. Yes. Yeah. Ah. How about we, we mark a place with tar and we lure her in? Her shoes will stick and she won't be able to move. And I'll climb a tree and strike her from behind. Yes, and I'll climb on too, so take two mighty blows. I'm excited. Hmm. Now, uh, where are we going to find the tar? Oh, that's all at Granny's. Oh, brilliant. Well, um, you should probably take this. Uh, it'll be safer here with you, and it won't be that long. Thank you. Mm. Well, my mother told me always to make her proud. And here I am, about to kill somebody. Well, not somebody. A giant who's been doing a lot of harm. But a giant's a person. Are we to show forgiveness? Mother would be very unhappy with these circumstances. <laughs>
Ah, yes, well, you'll have to do that by yourself now, Jack. It's signed. No, it's not. I'll take care of you. You will? Yes, Jack. I'll be your mother now. I don't want a mother. I want a friend. And a pet. So we are moving with you. Huh? No, no. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, no, you can't. My house is shambled. There's no more room. And... Oh. Fine, you can move in with us. Will you come too? You won't go back to the house. I'd love to help you keep house. There are times I actually enjoy cleaning. Oh, how proud my wife could be of us. And how sad I am with my son to never get to know. How I meant to father a child. I'd say that of course you're meant to have children. But how can I father a child with no one to mother my child? Yes, I'm a child. Tell the story of how it all happened. Be father and mother. You'll know what to do. Hello.
Absolutely. 